It's repair time, folks. We're about to do a little work on the John Deere 630 disc. There's, some of you had noticed earlier this spring from my videos that this back gang was flexing. And you can tell that the rod inside is no longer straight. So we're going to come through and we're going to take off this entire gang and then pull the rod out. See what we got and then get a new rod and put it all back together. So I actually have to record this so we know exactly how it all went together. Because it I seems like that a far. It's more like <laughs> safety. Safe. Safety to make sure that just in case we come up with a few extra parts, we know where they went. <laughs> Sounds bad. It's true. Rather than messing around trying to get a wrench on the end of that and to turn it off, and we're not really gaining anything by saving all that junk, so if we're just going to torch off the end and then pull the rod out since the rod's junk anyway. Well, the rod is the problem. Yeah, the rod is the problem. So we're just going to torch it and save not us. because we have to, because I want to. Save us, saves ourselves some time. So here we got the new leveler that goes on the outside of the gang. And on top is here is the old one. See any difference there? So now we finally got all the discs off. And everything looks pretty good to us. I mean, we can't see any noticeable bends or anything. So we're going to go ahead and start putting this back on and act like nothing ever happened. Now that we have all these discs off, we can take this up to the John Deere dealership and they can try to find us a new one. Since they aren't really sure what part number it is or, in, or nothing, they don't have any on hand. I wonder if John Deere takes blood donations yet. Oh, I heard they take kidney donations. Then once we get the new rod, we can go ahead and start putting everything back together. Um, basically just in reverse. And we have to fix what we torched to get that off there. There's no way we're going to have this new rod back today because they'll have to ship it to the store. So we'll have to fi finish fixing this another time. 
But until then, it's going to have to sit in limbo.